Welcome back to another video. Today's video is just an update on a previous video that I did on an item that I designed, which is the Slimline CO2 pouch. Uh, this was in collaboration with One Tigress. So after making the first one, uh, the first prototype, we made some more changes, uh, more based off of my original design. So let's take a look at the original one that was produced. This is the first prototype. And if you look at the interior here, uh, each CO2 had its own little pouch. And that's how they were retained in there. I liked it. I didn't have any issues with it. I also like the fact that this could also be used for uh, shotgun shells. But we want to uh, streamline it more towards the airsofter and individuals that are using CO2 12 gram cartridges. So we did some uh, little cosmetic minor changes and then we changed the interior. So let's take a closer look at the second version, the second prototype here. And so as mentioned, the interior was changed. Uh, we used the loop uh, elastic strap system in here so that each CO2 has its own little loop here and that gets retained. Um, when we were first discussing this on the forums, uh, it was mentioned that they would clang against each other, make noise, and such and uh, so when I was designing it I was like I wanted the elastic straps to come up as high as possible on the cartridges so they use two inch elastic strapping in there also because of the way the loops are um, it gives a little bit buffer between each one and as you can see they're not hitting each other right at all there's no clanging no noise and then even when it's closed there's no shifting nothing so Worked out well. Uh, now getting into some of the minor changes. Uh, the first one here is the loop panel on the front. We made it a little bit bigger. Still in discussions with them about it. But as you can see, before it was, it was slimmer and you could just put like smaller patches on. I wanted the ability to use your three by two patches. So here's one for example. And it looks nice. It's nice and centered, looks nice. Um, Still just a little bit of overhang here and uh, we're in discussion about maybe raising this up a little bit so that your 3 by 2s aren't doing that, but it's not a big deal. We'll uh, not sure about that and then it'll hold your smaller patches such as this one. Uh, the next change was the Velcro hook and loop closure system on the inside. Before, it was just a smaller strip. Uh, they've made it a little bit larger so that there's more surface and it retains a lot better. And then finally, you have, uh, you can't really tell, but there's an extra centimeter on these straps. So when you're doing this system up and the way it attaches to the PALS webbing, uh, these can be tucked underneath easier and snap together. So yeah, very happy with it. Uh, I think the changes are good. Everything's solid. And they, I think they did a really good job. So it's gonna come in right now just black. Uh, the dimensions are gonna be 3.5 inches in height, 3.5 inches in width with a one inch depth. It's gonna be using hook and loop Velcro closures. It's gonna have a loop panel in the front. It's gonna be made out of a thousand D nylon. It'll hold four 12 gram cartridges and uh, the other ability of this now is because of it being an open pocket like this if you had all these cartridges out you could still put other items in here if you wish it doesn't doesn't just have to be for these cartridges on the back here using your standard molly system it's using two columns by three rows and it's using utx snap buttons We've also discussed uh, what the estimated price is going to be, and they stated it's going to be roughly $9.99 US dollars, which isn't bad. That's roughly probably $12 to $14 Canadian, depending on the market. So yeah, very happy about that. So next, I'm just going to show it being attached to a plate carrier, and uh, yeah, all right. All right, so here we have my plate carrier. And this is a spot where I like to wear this pouch. It's nice and low profile there. This is a smaller pouch. Um, using the Molly system. Also, it uses two columns by three rows of space. So not that much space. 
All right, so let's get this attached. All right, <clears throat> there we go. We got the pouch all attached. It's all snapped up. Open this up. Get our CO2 in there. And we'll throw a patch on there as well. There you have it. Now I've got a CO2 pouch, nice and small, slim, ready to go for people that play airsoft. You can use these for your pistol or if you have a race system like I do. Um, works out quite nice. All right, so if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Have a great day, have a great week, and take care.